Good evening, everyone. This is Paul Rose of Sizzlin' Arrow Outdoor. So I wanted to post a live stream Instagram post that my son and I had recorded the other night. And, you know, my son was recording for the first time and, you know, he did a great job. The recording was kind of here and there a little bit. So I do apologize for the back and forth and kind of maybe dizzy looking uh, recording, but you know, he did, he did a great job as a first time. And, uh, you know, the commentary that he puts in there is actually, it's kind of funny. So I hope you all enjoy what we did with the lamb and, you know, we'll definitely work on the filming going forward, but, uh, it's got a lot of great content and I hope you enjoy it. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Hey, good evening, everyone. This is Paul Rhodes with Sizzling Arrow Outdoors. And, uh, my son and I are here at the house. The girls have went off to the beach for the weekend. So we decided to do a live video for everybody. Just kind of show you what we're doing for tonight's dinner. So, um, you know, hope you guys join me and, uh, hope this is, uh, beneficial for someone out there and hopefully you can use this in your home at some point. So what we're doing, is we've got a rack of lamb. Uh, we're going to herb crust this rack of lamb. We're going to sear it. We're going to finish it off in the oven. We're going to make a pomegranate and blueberry sauce. So this sauce is something that I've never done before. I'm just kind of coming up with something as I go. So just bear with me on that, but it should be good at the end of it. Um, couscous, we're going to do just a simple chicken flavored couscous with onion. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, onion and herbs uh, on the couscous. And then we've got some carrots. So we're going to do a kind of a candied or glazed carrots, however you want to look at it. But uh, it should be a pretty good meal. So we're going to go ahead and get started. What I'm going to do first is I've already got the thyme peeled off because that takes a little while. So I'm just going to take the rosemary. You've got your rosemary sprigs here. Best way to do that is just take them right here, grab a pinch, and just pull straight down. Now you get all the leaves off of there and you get rid of the stalk. So you don't want the stalk. They're a little too, well, they're just pretty much like wood. So you don't want to eat that. So we got this one, pulling all this off of there. So the one thing that I like about lamb is I really don't get a chance to eat it that often, but uh, it's very, very tasty. It's kind of a mix between, I don't know, in my opinion, it, it's, it's got a flavor of its own. Um, it's really kind of hard to explain. If you've ever had bison, bison's pretty close to the flavor of lamb, just a little bit milder, in my opinion. So what I'm doing now is I'm just chopping up the parsley into a fine mince there. Like a cooking show. <laughs> kind of. Alright, so we got the parsley there, and I'm just going to add these two together, and we're just going to do a quick chop up of these. I mean, the thyme's pretty small anyway, but you know, we want to get the rosemary cut down so you don't have a bunch of big pieces of that. Nobody wants that. Mm mm. So I've got all that. I'm just going to kind of mix all this together. We don't want to leave any scraggling pieces. So pretty much you just kind of take it because you want and um, mix it up because you want even distribution of the herbs. So I've got the herbs right there. We're all good there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some salt. I like sea salt because it gets a little bit better flavor. You get a little more cork. You don't have to use as much because it's a little more dense, I guess you would say. So we're gonna take the salt and we're just gonna kind of run it here. Now with this, you kind of do what your preference is. I, I like salt, I don't like to overdo it because if you overdo it, you can't get it out. But I, I like the flavor it brings. So we're gonna do a little bit of pepper there. And let's go on that side. So we're gonna flip this thing over because you wanna get on both sides. So we're gonna take it right here. And this piece has come already French, so I didn't have to French the rack, which is nice, saves me a little bit of time. All right, so we got that. Now, since I've got that, I'm gonna take just a smidge, just a little bit of Dijon mustard, not a whole lot. I'm gonna plop that sucker right there. Don't worry, you won't be able to taste it. No, you won't be able to taste it, it'll off. So I'm just gonna take this, I'm just kind of 
a quick brush. Did that so everybody what, knows. What this does, and I mean, you can you can put the salt on before, you can put the salt on after. Um, I like to put the salt on before, just personal preference. But what the mustard does is it helps kind of stick the herbs to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the herbs here. I'm not going to use all the herbs because I want to save some for the uh, couscous. And we'll probably throw a little bit in with the salt. So now we're just going to take this. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. Never about them. This one doesn't have very much seasoning on the there. You don't want to, you want to taste the taste the meat. You don't want to taste the seasoning. Oh yeah. So that's true. That's, that's the nice thing about having fresh, clean meat is that you, you it doesn't to, taste. You want to have more of the flavor of meat. You don't want to cover it up with a bunch of seasoning. That's the problem with corporate style meats is that. You, you put so much seasoning on it to kind of get rid of that flavor that they have. So that's why we shop local, we support our local farmers, and we hunt our own meat. Well, also, if you buy your meat from like a store, it could taste very solutioned, and more than likely, it probably is very solutioned, which is not good for you or your health. Depending on where you purchase it from, I mean, we had some shrimp the other night, right, that were very chlorine-y. Yeah. I guess you could call it. But that's not good. Alright, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna heat up my pan. Ryan, come on, come over here. We're gonna heat up the pan. I'm gonna put it on kind of a medium high heat. And we're just gonna let that heat up for a minute before we sear our lamb rack. I've got the oven on a 375. Once I sear the lamb, get a nice little color on that. We'll put the lamb into the oven and let it cook for probably, I would say about 20, 25 minutes. Um, until we have about an internal temperature of about 135 to 140, we like to keep it about a medium rare. Um, so that's kind of where we're going to go. So we're going to use the thermometer on that and just got to check it. Uh, a lot of different temperatures out there on the internet. You know, some are saying you cook it for an hour, which is ridiculously too long. Uh, some are, you know, saying probably around the 25 to 30. So we're going to keep it around the 20 to 25 and then check it and then go from there. So the oil I'm going to use, I'm just going to use a organic canola oil. It has no flavor to it. Just good high temp sear oil. All right, so while I'm waiting for that to heat up, I'm going to come over here. I'm just going to cut the onion that way to keep things moving. And I've got my trash bowl there. Trash bowl. Some peel easier than others. I'm afraid to try to find uh, how many followers we have because I don't want to end the live stream. Just let it be. Plus it says we're telling your followers that you've started a live video. All right. So one thing that I like to do with the onion is I'll take the onion and I'll just make little slits here. And then I'll take a slit here depending on how small you want you can do a couple slits through here but then you just bring this down just like that satisfying yeah lost it mm, there we go and we're gonna take that little knob there well it's making me hungry <laughs> i can smell it. it smells really good Right, so our oil should be about ready, so we're just going to let this sit for just a second. I wish that you could smell what it smells like in the video. Right, oil needs a little bit longer, so we're going to finish cutting our ass. Right. Fill off the side here a little bit. Mm. We're just going to push the, this is the problem with a small cutting board and you're kind of run out of surface space. Yeah. But. Two slits. All I know is that I'm going to be full. 
I hope so. It was quite a bit of meat. Quite a bit of food, actually. Especially for just two people. Yeah. it would be good because we'll have some uh, lunch Left for tomorrow, right? Mm-hmm. All right. All right, so I think we're ready here. So Ryan, bring it over here. All right. Bring it around. Yeah, we're good. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the lamb rack. We're going to do this side down. Ooh. Here's your sizzle. The pan, you know, it'd honestly be ideal to have a bigger pan. But this is the biggest pan that I got, unfortunately. Sadly. <laughs> oh, that smells so, really good. So we got to work with what we got, right? Yep. I'm going to do my next investment of this bigger pan. Yep. <laughs> to be honest with you, this pan is not too bad. Even though it like just right, it's like just right on the fit. It's not too bad on the size. Right, so we're gonna get a nice sear on what we can here. I mean, you know. <laughs> Ruby's like I can smell that. Mm -hmm. My dog's gonna start going crazy here in a minute. Mm. My meat. Now what we're gonna do is after we sear this, we're gonna throw this uh, lamb back on the rack that I had it sitting on before. And we are going to use this pan for the sauce because we're gonna use the drippings. Oh, it's gonna be too loud. Oh, it is? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna turn on the light. Oh, that looks so much better now. Last time your mom and I tried this, the light wasn't being friendly with us. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, look at it. Oh, it's good. Looks like something I'd eat. So, see, this is the thing where you, you don't have a big enough pan, you don't get a full sear over here. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be not where we want it to be, but we're just going to have to lay it on the edges and stuff. Yeah, we'll, we'll fix that here in a second. Nice thing about cooking is usually you can fix it. Yeah. And if you make a mistake, more than likely, oh, no, I don't know. Ruby just crashed back. She just crashed. Yeah. Yeah, it's good to see you well, the little pup needs some sleep, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm trying to get a good even steer out of that. Don't worry, it's not forever sleep. It's smoky. Oh my god. Yeah! Turn on the fan. Oh. Alright. Finally, out of the smoke. So I'm gonna wash my hands real quick and then we're gonna put that. Well, the problem with having a smaller pan is also you have a lot of raw spots, which is not good for your meat. No. Or you. It'll cook up in the oven. Yeah, it's good. That's true. Won't be as cooked as the rest of it, but still, it'll be cooked. All right, let's pop that in the oven. I'm just going to finish it and throw that right in there. So, you know, check it here in about 25 minutes or so. And uh, While we do that, we'll make the sauce and the couscous. Yep, exactly. So, I'm going to drain out some of this oil. Uh, where do I go? And honestly... Okay, you can... Yeah, that stuff ain't good, is it? So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, we're just going to make the sauce real quick. We're going to a little bit of oil because I took most of the oil out. We're going to take... Canola oil. About half of the onion. That I had. So you had one full onion, so I'm going to take half of that onion in there. Gosh. Sorry. Oh, you're fine. 
I just hope that thing doesn't pop on me when I'm filming. So I'm gonna back up a little or just Here zoom in. No, that's not good. The lamb. That's a mixture of oil and lamb fat. Woo! That. My mind. I'm going to turn down the heat slightly. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of white wine because I don't have red wine. Oh my god. Smells like some wine. Balsamic vinegar here. Like that. Ruby smells it. Let's stink a little. Food smells so good that it even woke up my pup. A little bit of the herb, we're gonna throw those in there, the herb mixture. Alright, and what I've got here, and I don't know if I showed this to everybody last time, but I've got a little bit of venison demi gloss. So we're gonna dump this in here. Yeah, that smells a little. Take that venison demi there. And we're just going to let this kind of cook down and kind of simmer down. And then we will add the blueberries and pomegranate here in a few minutes. And we'll do a taste test. And the reason I'm not putting any salt or pepper in there because there's quite a bit of salt on the um, salt and pepper on the uh, lamb. So I don't think there's really any need for that. So. I think we got a good incorporation here, so now we're gonna take these guys. The bear pomegranate in there. Did you use all the pomegranate no. seeds? No. Okay. No, you gonna, used all the blueberries. I'm gonna let, no, I didn't. Oh, you did? Okay. No, still more than oh. so we're just gonna let that kind of cook together. Um, drop it down on low heat. Let it kind of simmer up. Okay, then the couscous next, right? Yeah, we're gonna do the couscous. Next. All right. Can I show them the pop? So what we're going to do... Moving on. <laughs> Butterfingers tonight. Oh, there you are. Right, so we're going to kind of clean up here because it's a mess. I'll leave that out. Yeah. Alright, so what we're going to do with the... Oh, oh sorry. And I forgot, so I've got a little bit of sugar here that I'm going to add into the mix. And I did not measure it because I just took a spoon. So we've got half a tablespoon right here. Should I let Ruby out? Uh, you can let her out this one. So I'm going to do a quarter tablespoon of sugar for now. Uh, maybe a little bit more. Come on, Ruby. You can come out. We're just going to let that Sneezer. Smell that vinegar, huh, puppy? Sorry, that doesn't smell very good. <laughs> <laughs> that was a serious sneezing. Alright, so we're going to work on the couscous now. Couscous ain't going to take very long. So with the couscous, where's my olive oil? A little bit of olive oil, we're gonna put that here in the bottom. We're gonna just, like, just render the onions, not saute the onions, but render the onions. And that. Is it fun if I stay here? Just so I can do a quick as transition? As, as long as they can see what I'm doing. I can see it. I'm pretty sure they can too. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna get a little plate for that stuff. All right, got the rest of the onions into a plate. It smoked up the house a little. Yeah, a little bit. Sorry. 
Yeah. That's fine. Glorious smells. <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to do is while well, I'm waiting on the oil to heat up, I'm going to take the carrots. What I like to do is just little chunks. I hope we have a few people watch them. Hmm. If not, we're still having fun, right? Yeah. Plus, this is the first live stream, so it's not all going to be perfect. It does say we're telling our followers that you started a live video. That's probably going to be throughout the whole video so that people can just see it, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know how to check and see how many followers we have. Huh? I don't want to accidentally end the live stream because that would be a little bad. Big chunks there. Yeah. All right. So we got the. Sauce is looking good. We're gonna pour that in there. Look at that sauce. Looks good there. Ooh, a little steamy, a little smoky. It smells good. Here does. <laughs> so my son just whispered that he doesn't want this in his. Can you don't believe that? I he doesn't want the blueberry it. sauce. Nah, not a big fan of blueberries no. or pomegranate. Come on. Here's your sense of adventure. There's already enough to put mustard in there. <laughs> All right, so we're just. Sweating, pretty much sweating the onions here. And these render down. So do onions sweat or do they make you sweat? I'm kind of mixed with both. Depending. <laughs> make me cry every once in a while. Uh -huh. Alright, so I just added the herbs in there. Mix that around. I'm going to take a little bit of the salt. Because it's best to kind of season as you go. Should get that, get back get that salt. So again, this is personal preference on how much salt you want to do. I season as I go, and that way I can adjust as I see fit. If I got too little, I can add more, but if I have too much, I can never take away. So you just want to kind of keep that mentality there. You don't want to put too much in because it's easier to add than take away. Well, actually, you can only add, you cannot take away. So we'll put the couscous in there. And take away if you go back in time. All right. Mix that up. Now what I've got here, I've got about a cup of chicken stock that I made Woo. the other day. Out of actual chicken bone, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we made this at the house. Mm -hmm. I didn't know if it was chicken bone or broth or whatever. And then I've got about a cup of water. So I've got a cup of couscous and two cups of liquid. So uh, one part couscous, two parts water. That's a lot of water, Dad. It's a lot of couscous is going to swell up. So you're just going to let that cook in. We'll be good to go. We'll it's hot in my it. hands. Whoosh. All right. So now we're going to try the sauce. Let's see what that Scoot tastes through. Like. I don't want to try it. Be too hot for me. You can handle more spicy because you eat a lot of it. Handle more hot than me. I didn't put anything spicy in there. Oh no, I mean like hot because it just was straight out the pan. No joke. So I'm thinking we're probably gonna need to add a little bit of liquid to it. And the wine, um, all that alcohol in the wine and stuff gets cooked away okay. in the pot. So, right, so don't need to fret about that. I'm gonna add a little bit more the demi in there just kind of thin it out it's a little too thick that call her no i got her i'm just gonna make sure yeah we'll take her out when we're done with this Right, I'm going to add a little bit of salt to it, a little bit of pepper. 
the best thing about the live stream is that even if nobody is watching, people will watch because you can just post it, right? Well, I think it goes away after that. No, yeah. you, po- you can post it. Alright, so I added another... So, probably total uh, sugar. I've probably got about a tablespoon in here. Right. So that should be good. Even the taster spoon. So you don't want don't to double dip. Not that it's really going to make much of a difference since it's just you and me. But. And you're the only one having the sauce. Yeah, that's good. All right. All right. I'll try the. I'll try a little bit of the sauce for the stream. <coughs> I'll try the sauce for you the stream. Try the sauce? Uh, well, later. Okay, try. No, 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 right now. Okay. We ate everything off the spoon, so it's okay. Can't be that bad. Alright, so now we're going to switch pots. I still don't want it, but it's still pretty good. Why don't you put it with the lamp, it's going to taste amazing. Alright, so on this, what we're going to do is we really don't need to do much different so with that. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a quick cook on these. So we're going to do a little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. Pet serves. Right, move the couscous away. Couscous is ready. I just got to cover it. Got to sit. One thing about couscous is it's very quick to cook. And easy too. Alright, so we're going to get some butter. Get the butter? You used all my chicken stuff. You did? Oh yeah. Wait, you did. I got more. So on this, I'm just going to take about a tablespoon of butter. Not a whole lot. Yeah. Throw this one in here. I'll bring it back. I'm just going to show them the butter. Alright. So right now, we're just cooking up the butter. We've got the sauce already done. And the couscous is cooking. So we're working on stuff. This so, is a me and my dad commitment channel, so. Commitment? You and me run the channel. Oh. Alright, so I'm going to take a ladle full of chicken stock, and what we're going to do is we're just going to let this cook, covered with a lid, on about as four, maybe a medium heat. And that's really all you got to do with that. So. What about your podcast, Dad? What app is that on? Uh, Apple and Spotify. So, follow Sizzling Arrow podcasts on Apple and Spotify. If you want to hear, term, hear uh, my dad's podcast. I we'll have a new episode posted uh, Sunday evening. Uh, it is about what you need to do, or not what you need to do, but like items that you would need to start hunting if you wanted to. If you are brand new to the sport, kind of gives you a little insight of what items you would need to be able to go into the field and be successful. And how long have you been hunting for? 30 years. 30 years, right on. And I'm only 11. And you what? I'm only 11. <laughs> Taste the couscous here. I want to taste it. I'm eating it too, so. Good. Need more salt. A little more salt. Pepper's good. Everything else is really good. Mm-hmm. So far, everything's turning out well. Um, 
Did you have any doubt? Um, no. Oh, okay, all right. I just want to make sure of that. Well, you just said this is the first time you've done it before, so... Or cook lamb yourself? No, it's the first time I've done the sauce. I've done lamb before. Oh, well, yeah. I misheard you then. Okay. All right, so we're going to check the lamb, see what temperature we're on right now. So we're going to open that thing and stick... What is that thing? What's Wait, that thing called? so what's that? Is that thermometer? So we're going to stick the thermometer in the meat. See what temperature it is? What temperature does it need to be to be fully cooked? No, 135. So it needs to be 135 to be fully cooked and so good. Got a 110. So 110? I've got a 110, so we're probably another 10 minutes on it. Maybe 15 minutes. So what we'll do is we are going to like stop the live stream for now. Uh, everything's cooking. I don't want to just keep everyone sitting here twiddling our thumbs so what we'll do is we will come back with a small video of when it is finished and show everybody what the final product looks like and then we will post a couple pictures as well so but uh, you didn't stop it did you no all right so uh but yeah I, if anyone joined this i do appreciate you watching hopefully Gave you a little bit of an insight of what to do on cooking lamb, uh, or just gave you a little bit of uh, ideas of what to cook next uh, next time you do get in the kitchen. But uh, if you have any questions or if you want to connect with me, you can always send me an email at paul at sizzlingarrow.com, and I'm happy to uh, answer any questions you all may have. So thank you for tuning in, and we'll be back with another live one. I'm not sure when. Uh, just whenever we got a little bit of time, a little bit of time again, but uh, you know, again, I really appreciate it, and uh, y'all have a great evening. We're kind of tight schedule. See you guys. All right, so we got uh, went ahead and pulled the lamb out of the oven, and we had it in there for about forty-five minutes to fifty minutes. I would say probably about fifty minutes total. So this was about two and. A little over two and a quarter pounds uh, as far as weight, so I mean it, it's a pretty good amount of time for that size of lamb rack. Sorry for the squeaking, my dog has a squeaker <laughs> toy. So we're gonna cut and see what it looks like. Can I try it? Right, look at that. That's pretty good. Looks like a chicken leg, but a lot meatier. A lot more meat. It's about a rare. Is that good? So really, yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of raw right there. It's medium rare. So can I eat this? Yeah. I just yeah, it smells you can, raw. You can have this and that. Those are fine. It smells um, raw. Do you want me to sear it some more? Probably. You might need to sear some more. This smells raw. Okay, I can sear it some more. Yeah, this side right here it smells a little raw. Strange. Alright, you can cut it off. 